Okay, so this is going to be um, a step-by-step -step video on how to make your first post for your first assignment. Um, pretty much all your posts are going to be very similar. Uh, there may be some assignments that will be a bit more um, elaborate than this, and once we get to those assignments, I'll be more specific and I'll give you more um, detailed information on those assignments. But for now, um, you can use this ins these instructions um, for probably the next few um, blog posts for assignments that you're going to need to create. So once you've accepted your invitation and you've created an account um, and you log in, this is basically what you should be seeing. This is kind of like the back side of our blog. Um, <clears throat> over here, you may see some different um, choices over here because you guys are uh, pr probably have fewer um, permissions than what you're seeing here. Um, but you really won't be doing too much over here. Really what you want to be mostly uh, concerned with is the, um, the new post button here on the top, this orange button. Uh, that's what you're going to use to create your posts. Um, and then, of course, if you want to just view the blog, you can click on view the blog here. So let's just do that really quick. I did make an initial post um, for the assignment. And that's what this looks like. So you can see how the photograph itself is nice and big. It's the full width of the blog. And uh, we have caption information. And then here's the assignment information uh, for this first headshot assignment. So I'm going to click out of that. And I'm going to create a new one. This is going to be a sample headshot post. Uh, so you might want to take notes while you're watching this because I will be giving a couple instructions that are specific to procedures for you creating posts and uploading them to Blogger. Um, so I'm going to click here for new post. And you're going to have this blank sheet. You're going to have uh, very similar to any kind of email or word processing uh, program. You're going to see very similar things up here where you can uh, create bold text, italics. Uh, if you hover over any of these, uh, it will give you a little idea of exactly what that is if you're unsure. And there are two tabs. There's Compose, which is just a rich text composer. And then there's HTML. Um, if you're not familiar with using encoding for HTML, just do everything in Compose. It'll probably be much easier for you. Even if you're a little, if you know a little bit of HTML, you can probably just use the Compose. Um, we're going to start with uh, creating a post title. And for your assignments, I want you to create, be very specific as to how you name these. So you're going to name them the name of the assignment. So this is Headshot a space, one dash, another space, and your first and last name. Oops. So what that does is, it number one, it allows me very quickly to narrow down all of the posts to a specific assignment. And then later on when I'm grading and really assessing your entire performance over the course, um, I can very easily only narrow it down to the post that you have created. Uh, so I, it's very important that you put the name of the assignment, how it, sh how it appears in the syllabus, a dash, a space, a dash, a space, and your full name. Keep that consistent. Keep your name consistent. Don't say Michael Randolph one time and then Mike Randolph the next. Make sure you keep that consistent throughout the semester. So I'm th this is going to be a very simple post. Uh, we're going to start off with, uh, this is the photo insert image. I'm going to click on that. And you by now you should know which photo that you are going to upload to your blog. It should be um, processed, it should be kind of standing on its own, or you should know exactly where you're going to find it. I've just put one up on my desktop so that I know exactly where it is. It's easy to find. And you're going to go to Choose Files. Um, and that's going to take you to a browser, and you're going to be able to browse to your file. So I'm going to go to Desktop, 
because that's where I've got my photo. Uh, it's going to be this one here, and I'm going to click open. I don't know that there's any file size limits to this. It's a fairly large file that I'm uploading, um, and it took it fine. So we're going to click Add Selected. And just by default, it's going to be relatively small. It's going to default at medium. So if you click on your photo in the composer, you're going to see these choices down here. Uh, right now it's defaulting to that medium size. So I would say either choose extra large, that's going to be pretty wide, or let's, let's see what original does, because let's see if original will stay within the uh, the width parameters of the blog or if it's going to be too big. So let's try that. Um, you, yeah, you, to really get a good, a good sense of whether it's working or not, it, it might not look exactly the same here. So it looks really big. So we're going to click on preview up here in the top right corner. And this is going to let us see what, what, what it's doing. So it even though we say original size, I think I think original size might be a good one for you to use because even though this photo is obviously much wider than this blog, it's only making it as wide as the blog. It's not going to be making it make it too big and crop it off. So to make it nice and big and this way people can see your photos in full resolution, um, I'm going to say I would rather have you once you insert your photo. Uh, make it original size. Click on original size. If you ever try to post something and you go to preview it and it is cut off like this is cut off, then go back to the extra large. Um, but try try original. If that doesn't work, go to extra large. Don't do large, medium, or small. You want the alignment center. So you want that. It should default to center, but keep it at center. And here you're going to click add caption. And this is where you're going to add your caption. So you're going to click down here. And you're going to type your caption in. Now you can either type it in or you can copy and paste. I'm just going to copy and paste. So I'm going to come over here and copy my text. And make sure that it doesn't paste with weird formatting issues. See how this is a nice small caption. Um, if I just paste, it should retain that um, formatting. So yeah, it looks fine. So we're going to go with that. Let me try something else here. See if this changes it. No. Okay. All right, so add caption. I'm going to paste, or you can actually just type in there. And then we're going to go to preview again. I like to preview it multiple times before I actually publish, just to make sure that everything looks OK. So this looks fine. So we've got the photo. It's nice and big. We'll be able to see it. We'll be able to see the details. And then uh, we have our caption. And make sure, um, again, make sure that you have the who, what, when, where, why in your caption. And make sure that you have at least one quote. And it doesn't have to be a long quote. You can see this is a very small quote. So this is the information based on the assignment parameters that you're going to have in your uh, this doesn't obviously she's not in our class this is not going to follow that same script but follow that assignment which should be the first post on this blog as well as uh, the information i emailed you earlier in the week too uh, so the assignment is available on this blog it is also available on e-learning and I also, I believe I emailed a link to you or at least let you know that it was available on e-learning. So um, you should have at least two to three places to go and find that. So we can see it still says preview. So I can click out of this tab and go back to my post. And I'm just gonna look back again and make sure everything looks okay and should be okay. It's really basic, so you're just gonna be attaching that photo, uh, click on it, make sure that it's at original size and centered, 
you're going to click on add caption and down below the photo is where you're going to type that caption. Once you're confident that you are happy with that, then you're going to come up here to this orange button up on the right and click on publish. And once you do that, it should show up in this list. This will grow over the course of the semester. Uh, all of our posts are going to wind up in here. So now we can go, on, let's go back to view blog. And it defaults so that the most recent post is always going to be on the top. So that's our most recent post. That's our caption. And we can for, go further down. And here are those assignment parameters. So uh, go down, take a look at those, make sure that you're following the correct parameters for the assignment before you get to this point. And good luck. Uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions, and I will see you guys on Monday.